ranking system i will briefly tell you about it first uh, lieutenant to captain it's one year of service and then in captain you have to do for four years of service and major seven years of service you have to give to turn into a lieutenant colonel and lieutenant into colonel depends on your uh, effort on the army what role you have done it depends on the individual so colonel once you turn uh, into 20 years of service uh, and depending on your uh, specialty you can turn into colonel as time scale uh, colonel or like selection colonel and you can proceed to brigade or a major general salary um, once you join usually it is in captain rank you will be commissioned as captain rank and your pay basic pay level will be 10b so in 10b it, the basic pay for the first year will be uh, 61300 plus you will have the uh, non practice allowance the dearn allowance and other allowances like uh, high altitude allowance risk allowance travel allowance there are other allowances so uh, on and off the take home will be uh, you have 75 to 80k regarding your depending on your income tax your dsop fund there is something called agif insurance fund and everything so there will be a take home of at least 75 to 80k next uh, coming to postings once you're commissioned you can be posted either in peace or in field so if you're posted in peace uh, let's just i will go in accordingly once you're commissioned you will be posted to a military hospital mostly in a peace area for first three months of your service where you will be trained to what an army is what are the responsibilities what disciplines to be followed how to handle a new environment you will be uh, posted there and from there you will probably be posted to a field area for the for two to two and a half years it can extend to three years sometimes and um, before joining field area there is something called military officer basic course is done by all officers uh, basically there will be eight to nine weeks of course done in uh, OTC Lucknow OTC is officers training co college where uh, you will be trained to get the physical efficiencies and know what the role of organization is how the military law works what and all you can expect what and all situations you can you have to handle all the combat exercises this will this will come to you at least in within the three months or one year of your service usually can be late sometimes and then uh coming back to this so in field you will be posted in field for two to two and a half years and uh, mostly you cannot take your family there because there will be uh challenges in, in regard to terrains climate and even counter insurgencies so it is not very safe uh, place for the families to be and it usually is a primary setup where you will be the only medical officer and you will have a uh, you will be given a medical inspection room mi room with uh, your um, there will be an assistant like nursing assistant and be a battlefield nursing assistants who will help you and then uh, in peace uh, you can have uh, you can accommodate your family along with you and it usually is a tertiary setup where you will have you will either work with a nurse specialist or super specialist or you will be a group of medical officers working in a place with nearby mh where a specialist help will be available and and uh, one of the most disadvantageous part of peace is uh, you have uh, something called Adam Works where um, there is something once you become a medical officer you will not only be taking care of physical health of the troops you will also have to take care of the mental health you will also have to take care of the hygiene and sanitation of the unit you will have to also have to give the uh, awareness uh, lectures and program you have to educate them according to the places like in, in, in case of Rajasthan you will have each stroke and you should make them make sure that they have take a good amount of water you should educate them um, educate them what to do what not to do so all these are there and i want to specifically mention something called un missions which is usually to the pc officers but sometimes to the uh, uh, short service also so un missions are like special missions where you will be uh, deputed uh, you'll have a deputation posting to the un uh, like gaza or some any places where uh, peacekeeping missions will missions will be uh, carried out and uh, you will be helping with along with other officers of other course like engineering course who have come to like build a bridge or anything you will be there to give them a medical cover medical support to the local yeah post graduation uh, so as i said uh, there is uh, a clause now that uh, four to five, seven years of service of pc officer only pc officers are available to do the post graduation it uh, depends on the need pg cutoff and once you complete the post graduation you may be posted to many various field or pc areas where your duties uh, where you are of a uh, duty so you are a field helpful and uh, there you can do super specialization also once after your 15 years of service you can apply for your super specialization whether in army or even in civil services you can do. next yeah as i specified before uh, a role of my medical officer is not just for uh, uh, your medical uh, cover you will be having you will be having to do more, many more than that you will have to maintain the mental uh, fitness of the 
troops also you have to maintain the hygiene and sanitation and you will be having to train the nas and bfna who are uh, who are going to be there as the first line uh, help medical help in war like situations so you will be having to train them how to control mrh and how to act in the first situation of any uh, trauma or any cases coming to leave um, there will be a total of 80 days paid leave uh, that's a very very um, common uh, what to say wisdom word that uh, leave is not a privilege it's a it's not a right it's a privilege so basically uh, it depends whether uh, your commanding officer or the unit situation is for preferable uh, for you to go on leave or not so uh, the 20 days of casual leave is not uh, incashable or not uh, carried over and the 60 days of annual leave in this part of part that is 30 days of the annual leave can be carried over sorry can be encashed when, when you finish your service so let me just say what a day of an officer will be your day will start with a pt parade usually so in peace areas it will be starting at 6:30 and it will be for 6 to 6:30 to and it will continue for 40 minutes and then you will go have your uh, refresh and have your breakfast and then you will have a duty period of 8 uh, to 2 to 6 hours and then you will have evening again have a game parade where you actually have to interact with your uh, um, troops and have a good rapport between them in case so that they will follow your commands and there's a, there are special parades like night parade and mandir parade there are special parades which are just uh, twice or thrice a week so uh, let me mention what a parade is parade is basically uh, troops uh, troops of all regardless of rank will be assembling to a point uh, where they will carry out a single activity so that's called a parade not physical parade so ex servicemen yeah i just want to put a small word in it uh, once you complete a five years of service or whatever years of service you want to complete and then you go out you'll go out as a ex serviceman you you'll have a privilege of three years uh, where you can do your pg it's ex serviceman code uh, there is uh, the rank can be kept uh, uh, after your name but with retired by in the brackets and there will be canteen facilities so yeah uh, let me before going to pros and cons let me just say these are just my point of view and uh, just with my experience i am saying there is no implication in on pros or cons basically pros uh, since this is a frank, frank session i am saying it uh, me from a south india for a medical officer it is a good salary and uh, for my case i didn't give a serious thoughts about pg in internship during internship so right after internship i had to uh, earn somewhat in any way so i wanted to go earn salary and prepare for the pg so that's what i'm currently doing you get a lot of respect there will be at least 300 to 400 troops are uh, uh, under you and they will be like following your commands they will be saluting you they will be asking you they will basically follow your commands in every way and it is a very different experience adventure uh, you will be uh, seeing some gunshot injuries come mind blast sometimes uh, cold injuries a uh, uh, cases which are not very common in a uh, civil setup you will be experiencing all these things so it's a very different experience, experience. and you will also get to shoot a uh, fire you will have experience with many combat uh, situations and uh, you will have a good company you will have many medical officers of your own age of a similar age where uh, they will be experiencing similar things and it is a good company and there will be a ex serviceman privilege uh, so coming cons uh, let me just show you some pros of mine i'm just showing it so these are some places where i have been doing duties and uh, i feel very good about it and uh, there are very bad duties also where i had to be in tents and uh, there was no current or no electricity for days uh, no uh, signal for days uh, for a months actually so these are also there and these are like good companies and there will be stern and uh, stern as uh, activities uh, carried out and uh, during your whole period of your uh, service so you will have to undergo many physical you will actually challenge your, yourself in physical ways so coming to cons you will get into a very new uh, organization you will be you will definitely feel seclusion in the starting and you will be secluded from your peers or your whole life your family so you will be uh, secluded from your old self and come frankly say there is no career development uh, uh, in army for a short, short service commission now currently the rulings are not uh, so great favorable for the short service commission so there is uh, not much of career development there might be a personality development and personal phys- uh, personal development but career development is uh, currently questionable and uh, risk yeah there is definitely a risk for life and uh, there are risk for disabilities and uh, everything because you will be put into a physical sternness situations and you will be asked to do running you will be having a monthly exam running uh, test and you will be posted in high altitudes and where you will uh, very you will lack of oxygen and you will go into a mountain sickness or like you will have mental laziness mental breakdowns there are there was a friend where who was who was posted in uh, high altitude for 6 months and once uh, uh, he reached down he didn't even 
remember his uh, house address and stuff so there are situations like that and uncertainty you will be thrown to tds temporary duties and uh, thrown to duties with a uh, new experience uh, sudden uh, duties so planning is not uh, correct in army uh, if you plan your year according to something but it will not happen the same way because there will be uncertain duty uh, um, duties and it is the exigencies of our army so yeah i would like to conclu- conclude that the only thing certain army is uncertain so people who are like to plan based and to upright situations uh, only planned situations to happen i would not recommend them to join